Everton manager Sean Dykes praised, praised, praised his side's defensive performance on Saturday after the Toffees through 0-0 with Newcastle United at Goodison Park. This is what the manager had to say. I'm pleased overall with, you know, with late in the week we've had to adapt the team once again um, with the loss of Jared Amico. Um, pleased with the defensive side of the performance. Um, obviously, it's good to keep a clean sheet. Uh, the mentality was good to make sure we did and some good performances. Jimmy particularly getting thrown in again at right back and doing a very good job. Jordan playing well today, especially. Um, Kino strong, Taki and Kino between them and, and Youngie steady as ever. So I was pleased with that side of the game. They're a good outfit, you know, and, and I still think we caused enough trouble to maybe nick one, uh, but it would have been a tight one, don't get me wrong. Um, so overall, three games are beat and I think the mentality is getting stronger and I think that shows in the, the way the team are finding that determination to, uh, to make sure we, see, we look after ourselves. There you go. Uh, it's your in the game. Everton, in my opinion, should have had a penalty. Most people seem to think it was a penalty kick. I haven't seen it from various angles. There's one that actually shows Dan Byrne taking out Dominic Calvert-Loon's standing foot before there's any other connection, which I don't understand why VAR haven't seen that angle, or maybe they did. They just swerved it. I'm not sure. But Sean Dykes was asked whether he thought the Toffees should have had a penalty. Yeah, I think it's a bizarre one. I mean, their penalty, you know... I think it's a bit of to and fro, but at the end of the day, you can't do that. So, therefore, we know that. Um, and then, ours, I mean, the thing that I can't work out, I see so many weak penalties. And then you see that, and he's clearly trying to strike the ball at goal. Um, their lad, I don't think he can reach it. He interrupts him striking it at goal. Let's say, imagine he's going to score. And I just can't see anything other. They don't even look at it, which is, you know, you think, well, at least have a look at it. So, I, I don't know where it is with penalties. You know our record's awful for getting penalties. We don't get them. And then, I suppose the easiest way of putting it, if that's in the middle of the pitch, I think everyone in the stadium thinks it's a foul. So then why isn't it then? You know, that's, that's probably the easiest way of putting it. I know there'll, there'll be some technical reason, by the way, because, you know, whenever we ask the questions, they go to the powers that be and they'll give me some technical reason and you just go, all right, yeah, OK. But it's all right when they tap someone on the shoulder and their legs buckle and they're, you know, amazing athletes. But who knows? Who knows? Because we can't get penalties, so who knows? Thank you. Yeah, I... I've seen it, I've watched it back so many times now. To me, I don't know how it can't be a penalty. Calvert Lewin's trying to knock the ball into the net, isn't looking at where Dan Byrne is. It's he's impeded. He said himself, What what more is he supposed to do? He's drew his foot back to take the shot for the ball. And a player puts himself between the two. Dan Byrne even said it wouldn't you know, wouldn't have been overturned if the referee had awarded it and he got a bit lucky with it. So there you go. Uh, Sean Dice was also asked whether Everton have managed to pinpoint the reason to why they've had so many injuries already this season. This is what the manager had to say about that question. Pinpoint why there have been so many injuries? No, so we've looked at we've looked at varying things. Obviously, we look at training schedules, we look at pre-season. Of course, bodies coming back late don't forget different times of pre-season because they needed a rest from different competitions. Um, you know, and you're trying to look at all of that, and it, and it's difficult because we carry a thin squad because of the obviously the financial side. We know that, and you know it's unusual to get this many injured. And they've not been really too many really serious ones, which is more frustrating. If you get a serious one, there's not a lot you can do, but these ones have been you know ten days, two weeks, and but too many at once, and it, and it's been hard. You know, trying to piece that together and stay resolute to the cause. But as I said, I think the mentality is growing again. Um, and the way the team are operating is growing again to make sure we look after ourselves. Relatively. Uh, just on the back of the sort of injuries that we've been having pre-season, Nathan Patterson played full 90 minutes on Friday night for the under-21s. They lost 4-2 against Wolves, but it's good to see him get another 90 minutes under his belt. And today, Manchester City have claimed a partial victory in a legal fight with the Premier League over commercial rules that are governing clubs. Uh, this pertains to two large sponsorship deals, which the club was blocked from completing. Uh, Everton were apparently a witness for Manchester City, along with a couple of other clubs, Newcastle, Chelsea, in their case against the Premier League. An independent panel found that the Premier League's rules regarding commercial deals between clubs and related parties break competition law in two specific ways, which means the Premier League commercial rules were deemed unlawful. This will be interesting, obviously, as Everton are looking for a name and rights partner for the new stadium. And if the free can take over goes through, like it, it looks like all indications it will do, 
they obviously have got you know they've got businesses in their portfolio and businesses who they uh, work in close conjunction with therefore could also be beneficial to Everton moving forward so very very interesting result that coming out today regarding Manchester City make sure you check out the final word that is available now give this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you haven't big thanks to everyone who already has over 90,000 now in fact close to 91,000 thank you all for your support see you later